I've cut out all the slots in the body tube and I'm going to take one of the pockets that we've made earlier and you'll notice everything is dry it's really nice and black right now and I want to just check to make sure that they'll go into the slots and nothing's binding on these back slots and they look fine um, next we can glue these up and because this is painted uh, we're going to use super glue instead of wood glue um, and you want to use uh, thick glue um, instead of the water thin variety and also you want to make sure that you um, use it very very sparingly um, I'm going to put it on and when I put it on I'm going to put it on the inside so that if any oozes out it will stay underneath the wood and not show up on the white painted tube Give it a little wiggle, make sure that it's seated properly. And then I'm going to hit it with the accelerator. And I'll take a paper towel and wipe off the accelerator. Um, now you can do all of these first, or you can uh, start putting on the strakes. Um, again, the strake. <clears throat> this is the front end, and this will go towards the front of the tube with a sharp point. And it has little tabs, has two little tabs underneath, and then a flat end. So we're going to put super glue along here, and then that's going to be glued right here. Now, they might have a little bit of curvature to them um, because of the warping. So um, this is where this is where I would really recommend using very 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 little glue. Um, they're not really structural. Um, they they're mostly for cosmetic purposes. They do give the tube a little bit of stiffness, um, but not a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put super glue along this very very thin amount. I'm trying to get those tabs just a very very thin film okay now I'm going to do the back edge first trying to keep the uh, the front edge from contacting because I don't want it to uh, get onto the paint except for exactly where I want it Okay, I'm going to take my accelerator, hit both sides, and hold it there. You can see right here at the very tip I got a little bit of an overlap, and I'll come back a little bit later and sand that off and then just touch it up with just a little bit of the black uh, wood stain again if any if any um, brown wood is showing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the other um, two on and uh, in the next video we'll, we'll go back to working on the engine mount.